Um, okay. Just really proud of the team today. You know, we beat a, you know, well-prepared, well-coached uh, Liberty team. And I thought Liberty came out and was, you know, fantastic in that first quarter. And we were just uh, kind of matching each other. And, uh, you know, in the second quarter, we made a little bit of run and got a little bit of separation. And I saw them come out with a lot of uh, Liberty come out with a lot of energy in the second half and we were able to match their intensity. Uh, so really proud of the team. I thought they played great today and we're really excited that uh, we get to be part of the NCAA tournament. Well, Coach, uh, you guys uh, were in this same position this time last year in the A-Sun title game to play Liberty when everything was shut down. So does winning that same matchup this year with everything the program has been through these uh, the past 12 months, does that make this year's championship even more special than winning the conference already is? Well, honestly, not really. Uh, it would have been special no matter who it was. Uh, we definitely respect Liberty's program. But last year was uh, a whole different team. I mean, all five starters uh, are gone from that team. Um, so a lot of the players on the team didn't even weren't even here for the cancellation last year. Uh, so we're just excited that we beat a great team and we get to keep playing if uh, you know as long as we can stay virus free. Coach, that's uh that's pretty phenomenal, Coach, to to have a complete turnover and then do as well as you did on the turnover. Um, I asked your players what they what they needed to work on after somebody, after Kirsten said they needed to work on something. And she said they didn't know they were going to leave it up to you. So maybe you can tell me how you are able to flip a team into a not into an undefeated conference winning team. Well, uh, th this definitely was an unusual year. You know, we limited practice time and we simplified some things and, um, uh, you know, we were very fortunate. Our, you know, our assistant coaches did a great job helping bring in some really talented players and helping develop uh, some returning players who really, you know, the Emma Liss and the Alyssa Blairs and the Tyra Coxes really took such a step forward this year. Um, but uh, believe me, there's plenty of things always to work on. You know, if your ball screen defense breaks down five times, you got to review it and see what's happening. And get the team to understand that we need to have five less mistakes in, in that, or if your conversion defense, whatever it is, we'll, we'll review the film and we'll come in and, you know, we'll try to correct uh, some things so that we're as good as we can possibly be for this NCAA tournament. Carl TK just said that on the first day of practice, she knew what this team could be. Did you share her enthusiasm on the first day of practice or did it kind of take some time for you to see where you guys could get to? Uh, no, I didn't have the same uh, confidence that uh, TK had, but you got to remember the first day of practice, we didn't even know who would be eligible. Uh, we still had Aaliyah Stanley uh, as a transfer who had to become, uh, win a waiver to get eligible, and Kirsten Bell had to win a waiver to become eligible. So we weren't even sh really sure who was going to be able to play this year. Um, but I did think that I did know that our returning players had improved a great deal, and I was really excited to see their development. And I thought we could have a, a competitive team. Admittedly, with so many new players and new roles, I thought, you know, sometime after Christmas, you know, I think we could be pretty good. And uh, we did improve a lot over that first uh, few weeks of the season, uh, but it did happen uh, a lot faster than I thought. Um. With a lot of new players coming in, like you just mentioned, not all the other variables that came with the season, where do you feel like the team is right now as far as growth, chemistry, execution, a game plan, things like that? Well, uh, I still think we have a lot of improvement that can be made as you could, I mean, when you have so many new players and short practices and things of that nature, uh, and it's their first year really working together in such a young team, uh, you could expect that there's still a lot of room to grow. But having said that, I still think we're really good and that we're capable of beating uh, really good teams, uh, especially with our style of play and uh, with the, the talented players that we have. So, you know, we need to be, it may not be as many things, but we need to be really good at the things we have been focused on. And if we, if we do that, that gives us a chance.
And then, Coach, um, what are your expectations for the team moving forward? Well, we got like a nine, ten hour bus ride. Uh, hopefully they'll enjoy the bus ride, um, go through all their pictures that they took, uh, share them with their family, and then uh, hopefully get a little bit of rest on this bus ride. And then uh, tomorrow they're back in class, and tomorrow night we'll find out who we play. And uh, after we find out who we play, we'll start getting prepared for that team. And I expect, uh, you know, for the week of the NCAA tournament, you never have to worry about players being focused or listening. Uh, you know, that's always a time where they're pretty engaged with the game plan. So uh, I expect this team will be no different. Are you guys going to do anything as a team during the selection committee show? Well, we may get together as a team. I don't think we're going to be doing anything with anybody else. I mean, it's a, it's a time uh, right now. I mean, you hate to tell the players not to be celebrating on the court, but I was out there trying to get everybody to space out. Uh, you know, this, uh, we want to be able to celebrate again. So we're just trying to be as smart as we can. We're trying to just keep it to our tier one group that's being tested all the time. And, uh, but make no doubt we're, I mean, even if we're uh, not going to be uh, doing a lot of celebrating necessarily on the way home and uh, uh, we're pretty excited about what we just accomplished and really eager to find out who will be playing uh, when the uh, selection show happens tomorrow night. Are you going to be playing Carl Schmesco Bracketology on the nine-hour bus ride home, trying to figure out where you guys are going to be seated, who you're going to play? Uh, no, not really. I mean, you can get a pretty good idea. There's probably a list of about eight schools, but I think you're you're better off kind of regrouping kind of looking at the film that you just played, focus on yourself about, you know, so because whoever you play, you're going to be watching this game too. And if you had weaknesses, they're going to try to exploit it. So see uh, what you can do for yourself uh, this first 24 hours. And then once we find out the other team, then we'll, uh, all the coaches will start breaking down film and we'll have a, we'll have a good plan in place by the next day. All right, Coach, we appreciate your time. Thank you. All right.